Hi there, I'm Grant Mahon from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Now, one of the key features of Oracle Mobile Cloud Service, MCS, is the building of mobile-specific REST APIs that your mobile application then consumes. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the Express API, which is a feature in Oracle MCS we introduced at the start of 2017. And this allows you to rapidly build mobile REST APIs in a matter of seconds. So when it comes to building REST services, there are a number of ways your brain might conceptualize them. But the basics are really that you have a resource or a thing or a noun that usually represents some sort of business object like an employee or an account or even a customer, something like that. You then have an HTTP verb, which is the action that you want to perform on that resource. So you could get a collection of employee objects, or maybe you could post or create a new employee object, something like that. And you could choose to utilize parameters so that you can specify a particular resource, such as an employee number 12345UK. So building out your REST APIs in MCS often follows a repeatable pattern, a resource, HTTP verbs on each resource, and parameters. So for an HR API, you might want to get a collection of resources. For example, get me all the employees. Or you might want to get a specific employee based on a parameter. You could create a brand new instance of your resource, update or patch a resource, or you might even delete a resource if your business case supports it. Regardless of what the resource actually is, employees, accounts, customers, or products, you could find yourself hand cranking all of these resources for your APIs. So what if you could simply define that in your API you have a resource such as employee and you have all these REST endpoints created for you automatically. And that's what the Express API will do for you in MCS. It will automatically create all those endpoints for you. Of course, if you decide that your API should never allow the delete of an employee, then you can simply turn on or off the REST endpoints that you need based on the use case that you actually have. Now, it's all very well being able to quickly define our APIs. What if we could also very quickly define the exact structure of our resources? For example, what is an employee or what fields make up an account object? Basically, if I call a get employee, what payload am I going to get back? In REST, we call it a schema. It's a way of describing your resources so that anyone using the API knows what to expect in the request and what they can expect in response. So in this case, an employee resource is made up of an ID, a name, a job, and a salary. Now, of course, life's too short to spend your time writing REST schema definitions and RAML. So as you might expect, Express API does this for you. You define the fields, your resources, and Express API does the hard work for you creating the REST schema. Of course, what makes this even more super useful in MCS is that when you come to build mobile apps using Max, which is our no-code mobile dev platform, because you've defined the payloads in Express API, then Max can in fact introspect to understand what the payload is and present those payload attributes that can then be easily hooked up to the page. And it's worth checking out our videos on Mobile Application Accelerator if you want to see that in action. So let's go to Oracle MCS and have a quick look at what the Express API looks like. Okay, so let's start off by creating a new API in MCS. And in this case, we're going to create an Express API. What the Express API allows you to do is create resources within an API. So for example, in your HR management API, you could define a resource called employee. Now, if you had some sample data in the form of a JSON document, we could upload it directly and MCS would be able to work out the structure of the resource from that data. But let's just create the resource directly. An employee resource has a number of fields associated with it, first name, surname, salary, etc. So let's go in and define the fields of the employee resource, including the types of each field. And finally, salary. 
and Express API would immediately implement the various methods such as get, post, delete on that resource, all done automatically. Of course, if you decide that resource shouldn't implement, for example, the delete method, you can immediately define that the method was removed from the API. You can then round out the API by adding sample data to the resource. Okay, so let's quickly add some sample employee data. Our second row. And now our third row of data. By loading the API with some sample data, it means you've immediately got an API that you can work against that returns something representative of your real system. So to prove that, let's quickly test our API. And there you can see correct data being returned. Now it's worth mentioning at this stage, we haven't fully implemented the API code itself. It's not running against a real backend, it's running against some mock data but obviously this is something you can start building and testing against. So there you are, that was a very quick introduction to the Express API in Oracle MCS, which allows you to build rich RESTful APIs in a matter of seconds. So thanks for watching and please stay tuned for some more episodes.